and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than 5 minutes so without wasting time let's get started so today's problem of the day is quick salt on linked list which is marked as a medium level problem okay all right let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given the head of the linked list and we have to return the head of the linked list okay but that head the head which we will be returning it should be a sorted head okay it should be a sorted head okay all right now and technique which we have to use that is quick sort we have to use quick sort technique to sort the linked list okay now please don't worry if you don't know about quick sort because i'm going to explain that as well in this video all right all right let's begin then so what is quick sort basically quick sort is a technique where we will be marking uh, we will we will be taking one element as pivot element okay we will be taking one element as pivot element and after one cycle of operations we can say all the elements less than the pivot element will be on the left and all the elements greater than or equal to pivot element will be on the right okay i think you can uh, visualize the thing which i'm saying pivot element we will mark and after few operations we will do all the elements less than pivot will be on the left side all the elements greater than pivot will be on the right side okay all right now again we will be keep on doing this recursively till we will be having three nodes or two nodes in our linked list and then they will be in sorted manner okay and after that we will simply combine the linked list the divided linked list again we will combine them and we will simply get our required sorted linked list that's it guys that's it so i have written something for you let's go to the notes section then okay Okay, all right so quick salt on link list so basically i've written few things let's see first one is key we will be take pivot element as first node okay we will be taking first node as pivot element i think i will return it uh reversible because uh reverse i will return it so we will be taking first node as pivot element okay all right second thing is we initialize two link list we will be initializing two link list okay first head for the nodes less than pivot element and second head for nodes greater than or equal to pivot element okay all right i think this will be also clear because as i as i have already told we will be having one pivot element and all the elements less than pivot will be on a first linked list and all the elements greater than pivot will be on the second linked list okay so first head and second head is basically marking those linked list okay and this is what this is the partition function this is the partition function which you might have heard it is very tough but no this is that only all the nodes less than pivot left side all the elements greater than pivot on the right side basically means first head and second end so first head will be having nodes less than pivot second head will be having nodes greater than pivot okay now i will be doing this recursively i will be doing this recursively so like basically if there is seven elements so after that first uh, set of operations are done so there will be first head pointing to one linked list second end pointing to that linked list another linked list okay now in the first head again i will do this partition function make one element as pivot again divide this into different into three parts pivot first head second end and again do okay so we will do this recursively now what will be the base case till either linked list becomes null or it has only one node because if it has only one node if the linked list has only one node it is already sorted isn't it if the linked list is null it is already sorted if it has only one node it is already sorted okay all right and after that after recursive partitions are done we will combine partition linked list and return the new head okay so if let's say one two three is one linked list it is sorted it is sorted after doing the partition and then combining four five six is another linked list or let's say four is our pivot element and uh, five six are our second linked list now you will see pivot element this is second linked list this is first linked list both are sorted we will simply combine them and return the first head one all right guys that is it that is it okay this is that simple so i let's move to the another notes where i have we will be doing a dry run of it okay all right so here our pivot element is the seven this is our linked list i am currently at six okay i am currently at six so six is less than seven six is less than seven okay so i will be updating our first head because it will be in the left side so first head okay first head will be six first tail will be six as well so tail basically is used to add to the last tail will be used to add at the last okay all right update our current update our current to 10 okay current is 10 now 10 is greater than pivot 7 so it will be in the second link list so update that second head to 10 here and here as well okay all right now again update current current is now what 5 okay so 5 will be what 5 is less than 7 so it will be in the first link list so 6 next will be pointing to 5 and basically it's a first head is a head okay now first tail will be updated to 5 so that we can simply do new element which came so i will do first tail dot next is equal to new element and new element is equal to first tail something like this okay similarly 9 will be added here 
so 10 then 9 is there okay then 2 is will be in the first so it is something like 2 and after that 1 so it is something like 1 okay so 6 5 9 2 is one array linked list and 10 and 9 is another linked list now you can see that these elements are less than pivot these elements are greater than pivot okay all right now again recursively we will do the same thing in 6 5 2 1 okay again recursively i will do the same thing with 6 5 2 1 okay all right so again here the pivot will be 6 okay so after that we will be getting what we will be getting new linked list and the left side as 5 to 1 and on the right side as null okay because there is no element greater than 6 okay again i will do the same operation on 5 to 1 similarly at the last what i will get look recursively on dividing it again 5 to 1 so 2 1 will be our first linked list 5 is pivot and the second linked list will be null okay so after that 2 1 is there so again 2 will be pivot so 1 okay after that we will combine so on combining you can see we will get something like 1 2 5 okay on combining we will get something like 1 2 5 okay 6 is our pivot so it will be added to here 6 and then null okay null is there okay all right so on the next null so this is one linked list let's say this one is sorted okay similarly 10 and 9 similarly 10 and 9 is another linked list okay 10 and then 9 now again we will do what pivot is 10 okay current is 9 pivot is 10 current is 9 so what i will do i will check and 9 will be pointed to the first linked list 9 will be pointed to first linked list first head okay first head this 10 is pivot and the second head will be null okay all right now look 9 is only one element so do we need to again run partition on it no we will simply return 9 so from the first time first head 9 will be returned from the second head current will be like the null will be returned pivot is 10 so what first head first linked list then pivot then second linked list that is null okay so this is what i have got okay now look our pivot was at that point our pivot was 7 so 1 2 5 6 7 and then 9 10 that is it guys we have got our salted linked list and we will simply return the head that is one i hope it will be clear and you can also try it by solving it yourself as well and uh, I'm going to solve it now. Okay. So we will be having needing some functions as well. So I will be writing those. Okay. All right. Let's see to the code section. Okay. All right. Let's see the code of it. But before seeing the code, if you have loved the explanation, please hit the subscribe button because it takes a lot of effort to make these videos at midnight. I'm making this video at one o'clock in the night. Okay. All right. So let's see what I have written. So basically I've written few parts of the code, which are very basic functions, which we will be using into this problem. Okay. First one is the get tail. First one is a get tail function, which will be getting a node, which we will be passing one node and it will return me the last node of that linked list. Okay. I will get the last node of that linked list from this get tail function. Okay. All right. Second function is this concatenate function where I will be passing, you know what I told first head, second head and the pivot element. So basically it will be combining these three heads. So first head dot last. So basically what first head I'm going here and I'm checking key if like i will get the last element get tail of this first head and simply do what tail dot next is equal to pivot and pivot dot next is equal to second head okay something like this i will do and it will be concatenating the linked list so basically look 162 is let's say one linked list 126 is another linked list so we have to combine them what i will do i will simply do 2 dot next is equal to this one okay so it will be combined so this is how we will be combining this linked list very very basic functions are there that's why i have already written them now we have to what we will be passing in this quick sort function this is the first function which we will get okay here i will be passing one node that is the head okay here this quick sort function that is start and then get tail get tail okay get tail here i am getting a tail and it will be returning the last element so node start node end something like this quick sort function i have got here now what i will do in this i will be recursively sorting this let's see how let's see how okay so first of all if a start is equal to null it means what it means there is no node in the linked list if there is no node we don't need to sort okay similarly if start is equal to end that also means ki there are only one node. there is only one node do we need to sort it no we don't need to sort it okay all right so again what i will do i will simply return start in those case i will simply return start okay all right now what i will do again look i will be doing the partition i will be doing the partition Okay. And as I told this partition array will be returning us three things will be running us three things what first linked list second linked list and the pivot element first linked list second linked list and the pivot element. So I will get those in the one array. Okay, let's say that array will be something like node of uh, sorry 
node array of uh, let's say name is partition okay something like this i'm actually conf got confused with the spelling partition i will be calling this partition function and i will be passing what start and end i will be passing what start and end of the link okay all right so partition function partition function will return is this partition array there will be three elements present three things will be present first is what let me show you first is what first head first head is partition 0 okay and look i will be typing only those things which i have explained and second node will be what pivot pivot is what P partition 1 okay and third node will be what this will be second head will be our second head and that will be partition 2 something like this i will get okay all right so look what i told after getting let's say i showed the one link list will be sorted like two link list i will get and then again i will be recursively doing that so how i will recursively do i will again call this quick sort function okay so i will update my first head first head is equal to quick sort function and here what i will pass i will first of all pass first head and then the last element of the first head as int last element of first head as int so how i will get that simply get tail function i have already written pass first head here okay something like this it is sorted okay now second head second head again i have to get look here what i will be getting second head will be getting all the elements which are greater than this pivot element which are greater than this pivot element but this second head will not be sorted will not be sorted there can be like uh, unsorted array linked list so we have to sort that we will be sorting that recursively using quick sort function again guys i have already explained this so please, i hope everyone will be getting and if not please let me know into the comments as well so here i will pass what second head and get tail of second head okay very very simple i think till this point it is correct now look after this operation first head and second head link list will be sorted first head and second head link list will be sorted because we are doing this recursively quick sort function this is again called okay again now what we will do we will simply return our concatenated array okay so i will be copying this concatenate function here i will be calling it how i will be calling first head pivot and then second head then second head okay all right so you can see this concatenate function we will be returning our head head of the sorted link list head of the sorted combined link list okay and simply that will be returned here and we will simply return this node okay all right now we have to just complete this partition function how we can do right very very simple as i already told what i will be making let's say our node pivot will be what starting node okay node first head and is equal to null currently and first tail is also equal to null okay all right similarly let's copy this paste it again second head is null and second tail is also null okay guys i'm writing in front of you so that you can more relate it otherwise i could have just write wrote the code at the starting and simply shown it to you but i don't like that okay after that what current current was what if you can visualize that diagram which i showed you current is what start dot next okay start dot next all right now i have written while current is not equal to end dot next means till the last i will run this loop till the last and if you remember what i shown okay, if current dot data is less than pivot dot pivot dot data okay if current dot data is less than pivot dot data what i will do i will combine to the first i will combine to first link list otherwise i will combine to second link list something like this okay all right so i will be combining in this way in the first link list but look if my first head is null it means there are no elements added okay so if first head is equal to null it means there are no elements added so i will initialize it i will initialize it how i will initialize first head is equal to current and first tail is equal to current okay very very simple otherwise what otherwise our first head is done or otherwise our first head is done we just need to uh, let's say uh, update our first tail so what i told first tail dot next is equal to current let's suppose like i hope you are getting okay, if there are let's say uh, one two three a is already present and this is our first tail now 
if I have to get four, I have to add four. So first tail dot next is equal to four, and now first head will be updated. Now first head will be updated to here. Okay, similar thing, same thing we will do. So simply uh, let me get the mouse. First tail dot next is equal to current and first tail is equal to current. Okay, I hope till this point everything will be clear. Same thing we will be doing here. Same thing we will be doing here, but with the second head. But with the second head. Okay, so let me copy this second head. I hope guys everyone is with me till this point and uh, you guys are learning something new today okay so let's copy this second tail as well copy paste it here because i'm just copying pasting because it's same it's same okay all right so we will be doing this till we will reach the last but we have to update after each loop up we will have to update our current current dot next okay all right now at last look we are updating our current current at any point let's suppose 6 was there but 6 next is pointing to null so at last we will be updating our second tail and first nail not next to null okay so that they are not there are not any um, mapping which is false okay i hope you guys are getting so we have already done it lot of times as well okay so if first tail is there if first tail not equal to null means there are few elements present so what i will do i will simply do first tail dot next is equal to null so that there is no um, illegal let's say infinite loop uh, attached okay similarly same thing i will do for second tail copy this second tail here second tail second tail okay all right now we have to return and guys what we have to return if you remember we have to return a link uh, we have to return an array and that array will be something like return new node array first thing will be what guys first thing will be what first uh, something like this first thing will be our first head okay first thing will be our first head second thing will be our pivot and third thing will be our second head all right i hope we guys we are done i hope we are done so basically that is it let me delete it from here add it here and let's try to compile this once to see if there are any issues there can be issues because we are doing this we are just writing cannot write symbol less okay where i have written less Okay, on line 88. Oh, there. Okay, less. It should not be less here. There is nothing less. So it's what? It's first head. Okay, it's his first head. Actually, I copied it, so there can be few issues here. Control V, something like this. Let's compile and run this again. And guys, if you have loved the explanation, please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video. Let's try to submit it. And uh, yeah, that's it. Please tell into the comments whether you like this technique or not. And uh, was everything clear or not okay yeah i think it's getting accepted and i will see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and uh, share your feedbacks into the comments was this explanation up to the point what i can improve as well and i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye